Virgo, welcome back. I'm Diddy, better known as Divinely Destin. If you're new to my channel and you like this reading and you say, oh, she's a crazy cool Virgo like me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be alerted to future readings. Okay, Virgo, this is it. This is the last message for you, for me, closing out the year 2020. Please drink responsibly. Okay, closing out 2020, no drinking and driving, going into the new year. Please choose a designated driver. We have Uber. You have Lyft. Okay. You have cab companies. You can call someone. Don't drink and drive, Virgo. And a lot of Virgos are designated drivers for their friends and loved ones. Okay, Virgo? I just had to say that because, you know, it needs to be said. Virgo, excuse me, sir. Can you cut that down? Yes. I have a little Scorpio son. Okay, Virgos, if you have any Scorpio children, the bun is amazing. Okay. All right. Okay, Virgo, here we go. Of our energy. It's the high priestess. Look how strong you are, Virgo. Look how powerful you are. Look how magnetic you are. And look how much you know. Virgos are very, very, very intuitive. Virgos know so much, but Virgos may not always speak on it, okay? I see with the high priestess here, man, it's something about your eyes and your knowledge that's very attractive, Virgo. You may love the color black. You may have shoulder length. I mean, I'm hearing like, like a light to a dark blonde color you may also have dark black curly hair virgo there is something very significant about your knowledge and your eyes okay the eyes are the windows to the soul and you're able to mirror back to other people what's basically reflected in them okay you're very you're a sponge too virgo you, you absorb the, the the energy in any space or any room that you're in and you know things. You intuitively will pick up on any area, any any room you're in. You'll pick up on, and you'll know things about people, but you may not say it. You know, you can spot a phony. You can spot a fake. You can spot someone that's genuine, too, okay? And you may inadvertently pick up on people that need you, Virgo, okay? You know, Virgos are notorious for trying to fix people up and help people, you know? And then they ultimately are used in the end, okay? I'm hearing narcissists narcissistic supply okay virgo be careful for narcissists be careful of narcissists going into 2021 that are only gonna use you as narcissistic supply you're gifted virgo look at this fire you may have leo sagittarius aries in your chart okay yes i'm seeing your mother and your sister here virgo your mother and your sister they're showing up strong for the reading yeah you're very passionate too it's like some people may feel like if they get too close to you, Virgo, that they're going to be burnt by your torch here. <laughs> Some people may be intimidated by you, okay? We see earth. You are earth sign. Spirit says, okay, with all this knowledge and spiritual gifts and psychic abilities that you have, please remain grounded, Virgo. Put your feet in some dirt, okay? Stay grounded, stay humble, but Virgos are notoriously humble and grounded and earthy and realistic and practical, Okay, the earth element is here. You are a earth sign, okay? Yes. I'm hearing manifest, manifest. There's some sort of ritual that you practice every day, Virgo, that has been very successful for you. Spirit says, going into 2021, continue that. Continue that because that's your key to success. You know, affirmations are important, Virgo. I am loved. I am beautiful. I am healthy. I am strong. I have the capabilities. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I am given this life to make a per I have a purpose in this life. I was given this life to fulfill a purpose on the earth. And that's my job to fulfill my mission. Okay, Virgo, I see that whatever you have been practicing, whatever ritualist ritualistic ritual that you have been practicing, it's been working. You may have been writing things down and watching them come true. You may keep a diary or a journal. Okay. Spirit says, yeah, continue to set your um continue to keep manifesting, setting your intentions. Look at this. We got more fire. More fire, okay? Wow. Anybody that hurts you, Virgo, they ultimately face their karma. They get burnt by the fire here. Because, I mean, some people, are, once again, are intimidated by you, Virgo. Some people, are too, some people are too afraid to approach you because they're scared of your powers, okay? You don't know how powerful you are, but clearly you are here. Yeah. You have the abilities to make or break people, okay? You, you just do. We see house, security. You may be very security conscious. Virgos are notoriously security conscious here. Okay. You may be, you may have a fireplace at your home. It's the perfect, this is the perfect weather to sit by the fireplace. Okay. Look at, look at this. You have a powerful gift of healing, which some people do call Virgos witches and musicians. I'm telling you, 
Virgos just have this spiritual gift, spiritual knowledge. They're sent from God. Not saying no one else isn't, but the Virgo spiritual spirituality is just above a cut. Uh, I'm hearing a cut above the rest. Okay, you're tuned in, and you know it's a cut above the rest because you don't use your your gifts or your talents to hurt others. You use it to build yourself up so you can help your family and your friends. Okay, you have the powerful gift to heal the earth. Okay, there's something with these guardian angels here. Um, I'm hearing the sign of Aquarius is is key here. Okay, your mom, your sister, your dad has passed on. They may have been an Aquarius. Okay, they may have been an Aqua. Yes, we have a male energy, masculine energy. You may be a Virgo female in a masculine energy, but I feel like there's a masculine energy that's in heaven that has been watching you, Virgo. Okay, this person, I see your mother and your sister. I also see a male energy. This may be your brother, uncle. Okay, I'm hearing nephew. You may have lost a son. This person is in heaven. This person is watching over you, Virgo. But yes, this is God. This is Jesus watching over you. Saying, I gave you these, ma I gave you these, I'm not going to say magical, but some people will call them magical. I gave you these spiritual gifts, these spiritual abilities, the spiritual knowledge to heal the earth. Okay? Yeah, you may be manifesting yourself a house, Virgo. Continue to manifest because it's going to happen here. Okay? Can I get some more messages for the sign of Virgo? Can I get some more messages for the sign? High honor. Look how respected you are. Most Virgos are very respected. Okay? You may be in the military. You may have served in the military, Virgo. You may know someone in the military. Your gift to the world is a high honor. Okay? Yes. Community. You may be known in the community, but I feel like you have a high calling in the world, Virgo. You may be between the ages. You may be between the ages of 20 and 50. You may have started out with nothing. And you've built yourself up, Virgo. You may have been struggling with poverty growing up. You may come from a single parent household. You didn't have much, but you blew up and you became something very positive and, you know, infamous and famous in your local community. You may be well known. Sudden wealth, okay? Your gifts will make room for you. You just do what God called you to do, Virgo, and you're going to get everything that you need to manifest and make it happen and continue to keep it going. I feel like I'm talking to a nurse practitioner here. Okay, a registered nurse or RN. Someone, Virgo, you may be a, a registered psychiatrist, psychologist. Okay, you may be in the healthcare field. Okay, you're going to get some sudden income to help you, boost you up to where you need to be financially, Virgo. You have all the talents and powers and gifts to make your own dreams a reality. Okay, you're fiercely independent. Whether you're married or not, single or taken, Virgos are just, they stand out, you know. They're just notoriously independent okay i'm here we're gonna make it after all look the key you may get the community the key to your community you may get the key to your city one day virgo okay no doubt about it look how beautiful you are look how handsome you are okay the community knows you the community loves you and if you're not well known in the community you're a vital asset to that community what are you wishing for virgo you can make your dreams come true I feel like you were, you was wishing to get out of poverty and it's going to happen. You may currently be struggling financially. Spirit says there's some sort of um, opportunities for some sudden wealth to come along here. Okay. There's some things you're going to have to leave in 2020, Virgo. You're going to have to cut out some connections, some, some, some habits, some people, some relationships. Some things are just going to have to be let go. Okay. Can I get some more messages for the sign of Virgo? Virgo. Okay. I keep hearing, I'm a hustler, babe. I just want you to know, okay, you're poised, you're beautiful, you're regal. You just stand out. You don't go seeking for attention. The attention finds you. Look at that, the Eight of Swords, okay? There's some, I'm hearing compulsive habits that you have that you may need to work on going into 2021. You may have OCD. You may have certain compulsions, okay? Secretly, we got the cancer. You may be connected to the sign of cancer in the year 2020, one, you may have been connected this year to a cancer here. This cancer is stuck on you. They don't want to let you go here. This could also indicate you, yeah, certainly you may be suffering from some secret addictions, compulsions, habits, mental defects. Virgo Spirit says, uh, have faith, honey. Let that stuff go. Pray more about it. Pray. Ask God to help you heal. You may need to seek medical attention and medical advice. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Virgos know how to get that money. Money calls you, money comes to you, money smells you. You are a uh, born abundant, Virgo. Abundance is your birthright. 
you may have been trapped in poverty for so long and you're just thinking it's never going to happen. You're never going to get out of poverty. You're never going to get out of the ghetto. You're never going to get out of the hood. You're never going to make it. Spirit says, uh, yes, the heck you will, Virgo. You've been stuck in that mindset for too long. Let's have a positive mindset going into 2021. You're our, with the Ten of Pentacles, that's like having firm foundations for not only your future, but for generations to come. You have the abilities to make this thing happen for your kids' future and for your, your kids' kids' future, Virgo. Don't stress yourself out. You're stuck in this mindset of possibly not being able or feeling good enough to, or even think you're ever going to make this happen for your future generations, but it's going to happen, okay? Final messages for the sign of Virgo. Someone may be watching tarot readings or they may be getting tarot readings done on you, Virgo. 2021, expect some sort of engagement. There are going to be some Virgos that will get married, okay? Yeah, sexual intercourse. There's definitely going to be a lot of that for some Virgos in 2021. Okay, we're not going to get into that. Some time alone. We got retreats. Some time alone in nature will help you recharge. Virgos don't have no time being alone. Okay, we got time apart. Some distance will help you bring clarity. You may need to retreat and back away from a situation to get a better understanding. Someone wants a second chance. Will you take them back, Virgo? Okay, they're having memories of love. This is a spiritual union. I'm picking up Aquarius. This Aquarius is missing you. They've had enough time alone. The truth of the matter is... They're waiting for your phone call. They're gonna, they miss you. And going into 2021, this Aquarius, this, this person is gonna reach out to you. God bless. Be safe. God bless you. I'm here in Aquarius. Okay. God bless you, Virgo.